So welcome everyone to our fourth webinar in this webinar series of Trade Clue. Now today's topic will be something which is already known and you will get a lot of videos on this on YouTube but I have given a little twist to it and let me explain both the concepts first and then we can go out and understand how to apply this in real time market. So the first thing is called as ORB which is called as outer range breakout. Okay, so first let's understand what is outer and what is range and then what is breakout. So the first thing when we see in the chart, so you are trying to see a three minute chart or if you are seeing a five minute chart, 15 minute chart or maybe one hour chart. So take any chart which you want. So for example, if we take this as a chart or let's say today's nifty chart of five minutes. Now what we need to understand in this, if your focus is on five minute and let's say this is the start of the day where the first five minutes is over. So if you are trying to focus on five minute chart, so the first five minute is over and the first five minute I can see a candle like this where you have the open is equal to low and there is a high which is being made and then you also have the close over here. Now we are not interested in the close, we are interested in the open and sorry the low and high of this candle. So the low and high, the difference between the two is called as the range. Okay, so coming back to this range breakout range basically means the outer range the first candle that we are seeing over here the high and low this becomes the range so we have marked two lines over here after this we see the next candle and obviously again we do not change the time frame the candle is five minutes again we see what's happening in the next candle so we say that the candle over here it tried to breach outside came back in and it closed over here. So the close or you can say the body of this candle is still within the range of the first five minutes. Let's see the third one. The candle is within the range of the first five minutes. The candle is still within the range in the first five minutes. So we're trying to avoid the spikes. We're trying to see now the bodies are within the range or not. Then we go out and see again it is within the first range. So this shows that the five candles have passed through. So half an hour has gone by but the morning open and the low of the first five minute is not being breached. That's a very very strong range we can see from here. Now let's go ahead what happens. Again no breach. Neither is going above this. Neither is going below this. The candle is red but it is within the range again within the range, again within the range, again within the range. Now, finally we see something where there's a little spike but it closes beyond the range. So let me just give it a line and let me change this. So we are trying to see the close of that candle and that close of the candle is now outside the first five minute range. Once it closes outside, we can now say that our alert should be there. Nifty has made a five minute breakout range. So on five minute chart, when I'm seeing Nifty now, it has done a breakout of the first five minute range. So coming back over here, the high and low of the candle is now being breach. So in simple sense to understand this if I say this is the first you can say the five minute candle which is there. Okay so the high and the low now you can have multiple candles within this range. Okay some candles almost you can say at the tip of the high or tip of the low and stuff like that 
but it has not breached the first five minute high and low. Correct. So that's very, very important. And then we are seeing, okay, fine. Now red candle is coming, red candle is coming. And finally, there is a small breach over here. Let me just fill some colors. So let's say the first one, assuming it's green, then over here somewhere green, and let's fill some of them as red. Agenda is whatever is within this range, we are not that worried about. And here we can say, <coughs> finally, there is some breach happening to this range. Okay, so the range which was there on the upside and the range which was there on the downside. The first five minute range, right, is now being broken over here. So this is called as the outer range. This was the outer range. And there is now a breakout of this outer range. So when we see this, that there is a breakout of the outer range, the most important part over this is to understand that it will now have a chance of moving in any direction. Now there are many things which go for this outer range breakout. Many people say if the five minute range is breached, it will surely go in that direction. So example, if it is breached downside, it has to go down, it cannot come back up. Or it breaches up, it has to breach up, go up, it will not come down. Okay, so many theories are there on this range breakout, which is called as ORB. If I say five minute ORB, that means I'm seeing all this structure on five minutes and I'm referring the first five minute. If I change the chart, so let's see what has happened after the breakout of Nifty. What did he do? He did go down. He tried to fool you and then again went all the way back up but he could not again breach the first five minutes. Then what happens? Somebody was trying to act smart, trying to push it higher. A bigger seller came eating away not only the buyer who made a spike and took the price all the way to the high, not only all these candles which were there have been completely eaten by this range breakout. So here I might be fooled, but if I am selling over here, stop loss has to be the upper part of the range and little bit on the upper side because sometimes spikes do happen. So here I'm luckily saved and then you have a sharp red candle, strong red candle breaching the range. <clears throat> now let's see what happens after this. This is the most interesting part, not the breakout, but the retracement. <clears throat> So the most important part over here, whenever it breaks out, if you try to take this trade, your stop loss is too far. So if I sell something over here, obviously I, my stop loss cannot be here. It is the other side of the range. And this is the normal stop loss formula for breakout trades. So whatever is the consolidation the range, we can say this is the consolidation range and we'll keep this as the stop loss. Now this is huge. <clears throat> How can I reduce? So let's see. It comes up, it comes up back to the range, back to that zone. Now you can sell because now your stop loss has been reduced to half. So from year to year, now you can take a trade in this area, keeping again smaller stop loss. Smaller the stop loss, larger the quantity. More the quantity you can take as compared to keeping such a big stop loss. Now, once you sell over here, he starts again going on the downward direction, tries to push itself higher again, trying to go down, again going down, coming back to yesterday's close. Now, when it comes back to yesterday's close, and as far as, far as our first webinar is concerned, yesterday close, this is nothing but gap up, coming down, gap up bearish, and this is where yesterday close will act like support. So we can get some bounce at yesterday close. Again, he's trying to push on the downside. He was trying to go up again. He was pushed on the downside, which shows clarity of sell pressure is on. Now let's see further on the downside. So idea over here, this what we did right now is nothing but trading a gap. 
but we traded a gap called as ORB format. Stock opens up, goes sideways, does nothing, 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 nothing in that range. Then he finally breaks, tries to retest. We take our trade over there, keeping a smaller stop loss. Then it starts moving in our direction. Okay. So this is where you need to understand the structure of ORB. Now, many people trade on five minute ORB. That means on five minute candle, whatever is the first candle, I would like to place a trade if it breaches five minute ORB. <clears throat> so many people trade like this. They see the breakout over here was little, but here the spike came, came back. Again, the body was within the range and then a huge red candle came. We should take a trade. So they take a trade over here, right? So this is where they go wrong. You need to understand in the ORB, don't just go out and chase. Let him come back and retrace. If you were supposed to sell after this range, you have got the chance now. But after seeing two green candles, people do not want to sell. They will say, no, no, I'll wait for another big red candle and then only I'll enter by the time you are late. So a trader will not chase the trade at the lower price. When the price rushes up, he keeps selling large quantity and he gets the best bid ask price because when you are a seller, the buyer is chasing for your sales and you get without any slippage, all the quantities favored in your price. So this is the importance of liquidity risk, which is there where people who trade large quantity, they understand presumably one, two quantity is completely fine. So the price comes back up and then you need to push your positions over here and then you need to hold on because you know your risk involved. So that's called a five minute breakout. Now let's switch this same stuff to 15 minute breakout. Now when I go for 15 minute breakout, again going out for today's market open, you have this low and this high as 15 minute range. The second candle is also within this range. Third candle is also within this range. What has happened to the fourth candle? The testing is done. Huge selling has come. Okay. So now we are clear that the breach has taken place. The same formula. Just see what happens. It comes back to that same pointer and then you can see the downside. So idea what I'm trying to say, you can see a five minute ORB, you can see a 15 minute ORB, but I would prefer you to use five minute ORB and also check on the bigger time frame what is happening. When you see on this bigger time frame, it closes over here, obviously you would like to wait. The pounds of reversal will come and then I will like to sell. So I keep selling over here and then we see it, the price going down, you add more because you are right. And then the price keeps going down. So switching into two time frames are fantastic, but normally five minute breakout works very well in nifty heavyweight stocks. Okay. So I'm not talking about your PD light or you can say Muthut finance or those kind of stocks. I'm talking about HDFC, Axis bank, ICICI bank, all these kind of ORBs. Now ORB over here, I hope you have understood the concept where in this case, the first range is being decided and then the candles keep wandering within that zone. Suddenly it breach. Now, whenever it breaches, please understand whenever it breaches, we do not trade over here. We look for some reversal and then after the reversal, we are looking to trade. So here is our position accumulation time and this is how it goes. Many people try to sell over here then things turn against them. Sometimes this line which you're seeing over here can go up inside and then go down. So whenever a retracement comes, start pushing your position, right? This is called chasing the trade. This is called planning the trade. So the sharp traders, they do not chase the trade. They plan the trade. So please understand how to trade this breakout. Now, 
many formats are there of this breakout as i said the time frame decides the format now you can have different formats 5 minutes 15 minutes let me ask you if i change the same chart from this 15 minutes okay to almost let's say 30 minutes again the formula is same the first 30 minutes this is the line which is made and then we see okay fine it has gone out it traces back then you try to sell and then it starts going down okay so this is how same thing we are doing gap up and it is coming down kind of reversal trade which is taking place if there is a huge gap up over here so when i go to trade clue and then i see nifty has opened such a big gap up and when we had seen the gap theory we were very clear that whenever there is a huge gap up happening please understand suddenly we come to know 9000 is the max call away area and when you know that this is your call away area you will not go out and be bold to buy over here and then what do we observe it starts going sideways after a huge gap up and then a sharp selling comes back okay so we tend to look for reversal if you that is in the description i'll give the link of the previous webinar where we have talked about the reversal trade taking place when there is huge gap up so it comes back and then retraces and then keeps going down now <clears throat> in the same way your max follow i was there here i didn't knew that 9000 was the max follow i and that's why i say trade clue helps you if you have missed out a point of information you are very clear so you need to have a rational decision not to go buy over here right many people when they see gap up market is zooming up let me buy and they are stuck okay and they get stuck royally and then the price keeps going down so that's where one has to be very very clear by using the levels second the same concept if i'm doing now on 5 minutes i can do it on 15 30 and so on but now i'll change the topic regarding this orb you might get lot of information on the web as i told you but today what i'm going to discuss is something very very interesting right so i'll just see the bank nifty and then we can go out with the most important point which i want to discuss now normally you need to understand bank nifty 5 minutes candle they are just a blip okay so normally bank nifty if you want to do if the stock is more volatile you need to switch to a higher time frame so for bank nifty i will use 15 minutes and for nifty i would use 5 minutes so this is your 15 minute time frame now <clears throat> after the 15 minute time frame let's see what has happened this is the 15 minute time frame and suddenly what happens the break has taken place right so only one candle is done the second candle breaches now the question comes should we buy bank nifty over here and we have told that if you want to buy the first rule to understand is to wait for at least 3 4 candles to remain within this range why are we saying at least 3 4 candles to remain within this range when you have 4 5 candles within the range the consolidation takes place or you can say contraction takes place okay things do not become more volatile and the buyer who is there who is trying to search and reach the price on the upper end whenever the prices are coming down he is trying to bring it again back on the upper side and if he is not able to that means the seller is more strong to bring it down on the down side so what we want in the orb we also want four or five candles within the range now let's see over here we want four or five candles there is no candle within the range the first candle is itself breaching and whenever it breaches the first candle avoid taking the trade okay now since it has breached you can extend the range right i'm not allowed because i want at least four candles to remain four or five candles to remain within this range so i just improved my range let's see so that means i have moved two candles 15 minutes so i have moved from 15 minute to 30 minute orb you can understand this two candles because the second candle i never go out and take a trade then what to do, what do we do yes now it is within the range now it starts making a spike and then he starts going down 
now suddenly you are seeing some candles within this range then he's trying to go on the upside trying to make a spike not able to coming back down and then you see another candle pushing itself on the downside so ideally then successfully this was the first attempt trying to go back up this is the second attempt now in 15 minute you cannot see all this retracement and coming back down but on five minute things are pretty more clear as to what's happening right so here it is up 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 trying to reach high suddenly downside but we cannot just go out and buy here neither we can go out and sell here now many people would argue why not go out and buy over here if this was your range on five minute chart he has breached correct on the upside as i told you the first breach never go and buy it has to retrace come back and make a new high i will buy which has not happened so here i see a red candle has come should i sell i will not sell right he goes back down comes back up does a retracement coming back down the second time i would like to sell and you need to understand who was bigger a or b he was trying to push it higher the green was not big the red candle eating out every buyer over here so the chance of him to come back up and go on the higher side is very very less so it comes back 50 percent and then again the downside starts so you need to comprehend what exactly is happening over here you see more green candles that means buyers are there in bank nifty right in the morning suddenly a big guy comes over here at 10 10 and sells in five minutes he takes out all the buying strength and that's huge a five minute guy comes in takes out all the guys out but i'm not selling here i'm also waiting let me see the strength is there or not because now again the buyers are running against him if he is so strong let's see what he does and then he starts pushing the price further down the buyer who came here is not losing the game he's trying to push it higher more just see what's happening a complete command of seller can be seen when you have such a clear mandate of who is in command plus a orv then you are trying to take a trade with a clear stop loss obviously you will go right right and then it comes back over here why does it bounce from here it's very simple yesterday close area if it is coming from gap up to yesterday close it will act like support it does a bounce goes up comes back again in the same vicinity if you see this is the same vicinity of the yesterday close area again bounces from the same point again comes back down over here and the end so this was the concept called as orb okay now the orb can be of 5 minute can be of 15 minute can be of 30 minute can be of 1 hour the agenda is when you say 5 minute then this is what is called as high and the low the range is getting defined over here so this is very very important okay now let's understand after the orb is done my agenda is not to take you through orb but before without orb i cannot explain what i am interested to explain called as ny structure ny structure is same as orb Okay, so I can say NY structure is one of the subset of ORP. So let me draw the NY structure and then you will understand what I am trying to say by means of NY structure. So let me take here, this assuming is a green candle, like what we had for ORB over here, the green candle over here. Now, after this, I get couple of more candles red candle another red candle kind of little bit of buying coming through and then you have a strong buying candle. so let's color them up so we'll have more clarity for the same uh, let's take this green candle green and green and you have red and red over here most important part what is this different from orb nothing is different this is the high range and this is the low range 
correct? So this is the range over here, high and low, high and low kind of ORV. Till here, if you see three, four candles going within the range, three, four candles going within the range, and then it breaches. Okay, so this is nothing but ORB. The difference between this and this is very clear. The candles coming down, if you see over here, has not come more than 50% down. That means if the first buyer over here is very strong, if this buyer is strong, what we are seeing over here, and let's say the price starts coming down. Whenever we see the price coming back down, don't you think the same buyer should be interested to buy? And when the prices are not coming down and the buyer is pushing the price higher, we can say the first buyer is still interested to make the price go high. So this is breaking the range, but strong buying is there. How do you know? Because of the strong green candle, number one. Number two, and it's going sideways. Number three, breaching the range and closing at all time high, all time high. So over here, this is the most important part to understand. NY structure versus ORB. Now please understand, I again repeat, 80% of the time NY structures do not fail. So the same thing which we are seeing over here, five minute ORB, we'll see the five minute NY structure. So they do not change. That's the most important part over here to understand. Okay, so as per as last five years data, 83% of the time NY structure gives you the best trade. So rather than going in and trading breakouts like this, I would like to go and trade the NY breakouts, which is nothing but an ORB or you can say a subset of ORB. So that's the most important part to understand. And as I said, you'll get videos on ORB, 15, 20, hundreds of videos. But I'm trying to say this is unique, right? So quantified it, it is unique. Now let's come back how to catch them, right? Now we cannot sit and keep looking where the breakout is happening and what would happen if I'm looking at Nifty or Bank Nifty, suddenly the ORB is happening in Reliance and I miss out my trade, right? A breakout might happen in Reliance and I miss out the trade. So to avoid that, we have that feature inbuilt into TradeClue. Now, if you have not got the demo ID, I will put the link at the bottom of the description. You can get your demo ID over here. If you go in live market, you have something called as query. In the query, today we have discussed ORB. So if you want all the ORBs, you can click on this. But if you want only NY, this is what I'm talking about, only NY. And that's one of our core strategy called as NY Pro. 83% of the times it is successful. Okay, so let's click on NY Pro. Okay, all this Pro normally has good backtested data. So it doesn't go wrong most of the time. Now in the live market query, it is already enabled. And let's go to the general alerts. Now in Nifty, I got two alerts today. And let's say an entire FNO, I've got so many alerts. Let's first look at Nifty. Nifty in Wipro and Indus in Bank, he's saying NY Pro. Okay, so NY Pro, we now know what is NY Pro. NY Pro is nothing but something like this structure. Okay, so we are clear what is NY Pro. Now, what is this one over here? NY Pro one means he's telling you the time frame. That means on one minute, chart you are getting ny pro alert so once i get the alert over here i just see i just expand this and i click on ny pro one it will open in the same chart for me and it is called ny pro one so let me change this from five minute to one minute because it says one okay so let's see how it looks like now there was an upper circuit over here but idea over here was the range was within this and that's why he told you go and buy Indus in bank. Now let's avoid this circuit kind of stocks. Let's go for Wipro. When I go for Wipro, he's again giving me NY Pro 1. So let me click on Wipro, NY Pro 1. Okay, so over here. Let's see at the start. So this is where 
we can see the NY Pro alert has come. But this is the five minute chart. But this alert has come on NY Pro 1. So I changed this to one minute chart. Okay, now let's see whether it looks like an NY Pro or not. What do we see? Sharp green candle. Let's come back to the drawing. Sharp green candle. All these candles, 50% of this range. So let's go and test this. Yes, this body of the candle, body of the candle, body of the candle, all are within this range, 50% of the range. Then the buying comes. Now he has already given you a buy over here. By the time you get the alert, this was like at 9.24 or so, you try to observe, you try to see strength of buying is coming by. You take a trade, keeping a small stop loss, straight you get 2% or so. Right, so that's the basic idea over here. And since it is on lower time frame, obviously you cannot wait for entire day with the trade. If it is on shorter time frame, the holding period should also be short. In simple words, if you are doing a trade on one minute time frame, you should hold for three candles. If you are holding on five minute time frame, you should hold for three candles. So that means agenda is holding period is always three candles. You can change any time frame you want. If you see the daily chart, you are likely to take a trade, hold it for three days, right? So three candle rule helps us for holding trade as well, because after three candle, we see chance of reversal. Okay, so these two were trades, but these were NY Pro 1. Let's see some of the stocks from here to basically understand. Indus in Wipro try to avoid. The GMR infra is a very small price stock, so we avoid that as well. We can take Siemens. NY Pro 2, that means we have to look Siemens at two minute chart. Let's see, what does it show over here? So NY strategy gets very much aligned and it's basically placed or given by the system itself. Okay, now you have over here strong buying. All these candles, if you see four candles are within this range, 50% and he gives you a buy. Then if you buy over here, it does go in your favor, comes back, comes a little bit down, doesn't go up, again comes back down. So you need to be very, very clear if you want to exit your trade or not, or you want to hold your trade or so. So I'll also explain what exactly has happened in Siemens and the other NY Pro. So we have to decipher. Now, the job of the system is to give you alert. Out of all these alerts, I told Indusin I'll not trade. Wipro was okay, decent to trade. GMR not allowed to trade. Siemens, if I'm trading, it does not go up. It comes back down. So it doesn't give me money. Let's open Petronet. NY Pro 1. Let's see. So if I have this NY Pro 1. 1, you can go to 1 minute chart. And if you see at the start, Okay, sharp, good, solid, green candle. These are spikes, please understand. So 50% of this is over here almost. All the candles are above this. He gives you a buy over here. Then it starts going higher. You can easily take a trade. And then you get a very good, nice swing trade on the side. Okay, let's go and see SRT Finance. NY Pro 2, that means two minute chart. Okay, so let me just also change the chart to two minutes. But SRT also the problem was, it does breach over here, okay? Then goes almost sideways, circuit was there, again it starts going higher. So because of these abnormal cases over here, Indusin Bank, SRT Finance, all these goes into circuit. Now this doesn't happen on normal days, okay? So out of all of this, there were some good one to trade example, Siemens or Petronet or Vipro. Let's understand each of them. So first thing over here, again, I'll clarify in live market, go to query. It's already been selected over here. You can also select this NY general. Now general means it is not very much refined. Okay. You might get a good trade from this or not. And ORB, as we have already discussed, we'll, I'll also click this and see what are ORB. So let me click after we finish the NY Pro, I'll also show you ORB. So ORB is general, you'll get a lot of ORB alerts, the outer range breakout concept that we discussed. Now, 
in this case i want to understand how to trade so trans finance not allowed to trade gmr not allowed to trade indus in not allowed to trade let's come back to this called as petronet when i see petronet there is something very very interesting okay so let's first understand how is petronet placed so when i see petronet the stock has corrected it goes up again comes down again makes a double kind of double bottom again goes up and closes on the higher side that means from downside it has shown strength this was day 2 this is day 1 so last two days and even prior day after this it broke there is a huge consolidation happening within this range and on the lower end it is being brought at the lower end it is being brought and here the closing is also on the higher side that means there is strong buying taking place on this counter kind of consolidation activity plus strong buying this we can see on early chart just to get some reference as to what's happening in the last two days of activity so we can see clearly over here sharp selling came buying came selling came buying came so this is acting like a base came back over here the selling has stopped how do you know sharp selling sharp selling selling is lenient that is where the reversal kicks in now the buyer comes in the buyer is pushing and standing all the way at the top of the seller so we are very clear that this petronet has shown now strength after the selling is over buying strength is over here let's see what happens the next day that's today and today which is something very very exciting which happened on petronet where the strength was already visible yesterday also from downside it went almost sideways of the entire 3 hours and in the last 3 hour also it moved up and it closed today first 2 minute candle please understand first 2 minute candle stock is open equal to low breaching the dr and please understand this was his yesterday's high if i go back this was the prior day high this was even the prior day high all the red candles which has started from here from here all of these red candles are breached by one green candle all this selling has been breached by one green candle so assume that if you are seller in this area and when a consolidation range is broken like this with a solid green candle and then it comes back to the seller area if someone is short in this area they try to buy their positions at break even and that is why you see after a strong buying above the bsl line above the dr it comes back the buying is again being seen it's not allowed to go down so you not only have two lines over here you have the ny structure you have got the alert way in advance you just scan out over here okay fine very good it is breaching all of these guys it's about to zoom and that is why the answer is why this guy zoomed why not the other guys okay so let's go back to the other stock so example siemens over here when i see siemens over here what has happened so when i see siemens from last two days over here it was a complete consolidation patch so on that day if you see over here it did go with a strong upside came back down not almost 50% and then zoomed all the way up because it broke two days consolidation please understand two days of consolidation is being breached and right in the morning open equal to low strong buying comes back doesn't go down and then you have an ny alert also over here you just have to see is it consolidated for two days if yes you have got a very good buy right in the morning and you are very sure it will zoom up same way when i see it zoomed up came back down zoomed up over here and then it came back all the way down kind of you can say consolidation happened so same two days consolidation happening over here now we can say one day consolidation is happening over here now it opens with strong green candle now please understand this open is not above yesterday's high if it was above yesterday's high it would never come back down 
try to understand if you are a seller selling at this point selling at this point selling at this point selling at this point and it opens straight above your price and a green candle is seen the price never come back and that's why the first lecture of webinar in gap theory i told you yesterday's high is very very important something opening above yesterday's high so this guy also gave me an ny structure just see he came back over here why did he bounce from here very interesting fact why did he bounce from here its previous way high okay so out of siemens if i go back and see the petronet okay Petronet is opening itself above two days high, not only one day high, two day high. Please understand, the open over here is above two day high. He is not even giving a chance for these two days sellers to exit, and that helps me to know it will zoom. So when these alerts come, so you have only like four or five alerts, but which alert to rely on? The alert that I will rely on. Two important things. just scan a little back see consolidation is there or not number 1 number 2 the opening over here is above yesterday's close yes about two days yesterday close very good three day yesterday close fantastic increase your trade quantity over here this is how confidence comes in so we have given you a tool where alerts come you need to put your brain and place your trust right that's what it is and the most important part as i said this is orb and this is ny do not mix them and that's why we have given both now quickly just see in the query i just removed all of this and i just want orb right so i removed all the pro alerts and all and i just want the orb now you'll get many orbs if they are but the problem here is i am not interested to trade orb because if you see over here this orb doesn't have pro ny is having a pro okay so this is a general strategy which can give you an alert okay so over here more or less they are same right now it takes a little while to give you orb alerts so we'll wait if we get the alert if not then i can show you some other time because so the data is already been refreshed for tomorrow's let me see the last time no so orb alerts you will also get from this query section but agenda here is i would still recommend you can use orb but ny is more you can say subset of the orb and you should focus on the pro format you can even look at the ny general format that is also but the pro format back tested format and gives you pre alerts please understand not after all things have gone and now he is giving you alert the alert is given prior so that you can also have 2 minutes to understand what is going on and then you can take the trade right so it gives you enough time to pull the trade so that's very very important so thank you very much for joining in for the webinar a new concept called as ny structure now why n and y n is it looks like n kind of uh, structure that is why n and y if you just reverse this it becomes a y so this is just an ny structure and statistically or you can say quantitatively i have proven that five years of data this structure gives me more result than the orb and there are a lot of ifs and buts in orb how to trade but ny structure showing strength and we have added two more important pointers go and see if the stock has undergone consolidation for one day two day three day if the stock is opening above yesterday's high and you get an ny structure just go all in you do not have to worry right so hope this gives you lot of insights of avoiding orp focusing and what right happy trading and i'll keep bringing new webinars every week and i'll also upload the webinar on the youtube like and subscribe so you do not miss out plus i'll be also giving you a link where you can uh, open your demo account for the software which is trade clue so you can get one for the same thank you very much see you again next week